to come out of, uh, out of service for whatever reason. Uh, th there are times when we need to rest. But if we come out of the service of God for any other reason than to rest or maybe we have to do something for family or whatever. But if we're just coming out because we don't want to serve God, then we're opening ourselves up to temptation because rather than be concentrating on spiritual things we will get sidetracked like David got sidetracked with Bathsheba so if you turn to 2 Samuel to Samuel chapter 12 Verse 7, And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man, thus saith the Lord God of Israel, I anoint thee king over Israel, and I deliver thee out of the hand of Saul, and I give thee thy master's house and thy master's wives into thy bosom, and gave thee the house of Israel and of Judah. And if thou had been too little, I would moreover have given unto thee such and such a thing. Wherein hast thou despised the commandments of the Lord to do evil in this sight? Thou hast killed Uriah, Uriah, sorry, yes. Thou hast killed Uriah, the Hittite, with the sword, and hast taken his wife to be thy wife, and hast slain him with the sword of the children of Ammon. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from thy house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the wife of Uriah, the Hittite, to be thy wife. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee, out of thine own house, and I will take thy wives before thy eyes, and give them unto thy neighbour, and he shall lie with the wives in sight of thy, this son. For this thou did it secretly, but I will do the thing before all Israel and before the son. David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also I put away thy sin, thou shalt not die. So Nathan the prophet comes and he confronts David and David is quite okay I'm a sinner I've done this wrong If we're children of God there is a point at which when we're sinning God will confront us with our sin Especially if you're in ministry especially if you are a servant of God Make no bones about it God will confront you with your sin and if you're a Christian and a child of God, God will confront you concerning your sin. And if you are not a Christian or a, not a believer, God will confront you with your sin. On the day of judgment, there will be a day where he will confront you. But for those who follow God, if we sin, God will confront our sin. There is the reality of the sinful life. Psalm 51, 1 and 2. There are many people today who claim to be Christians but claim that they are not sinners, that they are good people. If you are one of those so-called Christians, you don't understand Christianity. You're not converted. If you think that all Christians are good, or that you are good, and that you're not a sinner, and that Christians are not a sin sinners, then you've not really understood Christianity. You are not saved. You are not born again. I know that you might be angry at what I'm saying, but that's a fact. You're not born again. For someone who is born again knows that they are a sinner. Isaiah, uh, Psalm 51 verse 1, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions David acknowledges that he's a sinner wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity cleanse me from my sin David knows that he is a sinner 